and welcome back to the Flying Moose channel. Welcome back to the Paul Holden Details channel. Yeah, that is a more of a prancing moose. All the way from Switzerland. No, he lives around the corner. This, of course, is the Volvo C30, a dirty two-liter diesel. Owned by a friend of mine, previous owner worked for Volvo. He had it mapped. It's a factory map. We're not sure on the power output, but it's enough to get it looking like this. Got a stone pebble-dashed front end. 140k on the clock. And it looks pretty minging. We're going to see if we can get this car back on the channel and show you the interior. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, we're going to start setting up. This, of course, is the Arva pressure washer. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Rim packers from Chemical Guys, kindly sent down by a good friend of mine and a subscriber. But take the old knees. Auto Glim's all purpose cleaner. Sent down by Auto Glim to try out. Ready to use that product. More about that throughout the video. You get asked lots of questions about the Arva pressure washer. Now, the attachment on the end, the black bit nearest the yellow bit, the collar. That is from Arva itself, and the blue bit, that's your attachment for your quick release, is from Amazon. You can get them on eBay, they're pretty generic. And there is a reason for using the quick release in this video, and you'll find out very soon. So, pre soak brush, pre soak the arch and the tire, and we're going to see what this all purpose cleaner can do. Now, the idea is to degrease de and degunk the arch. So cleaning the arches out, not everybody does it. It does provide a better contrast between that and the tire and the wheel. If you don't scrub them, at least blast out the gunk. So MJJC, this is the second generation, I believe, of the Lance. It's got quite a runny mix in here. This is Garage Therapy's Decon Shampoo, topped up with snow foam. And the reason it's topped up with snow foam, reverse order, I actually put the Garage Therapy stuff in after, is because it was just left in there. Why not just use it up? It just helps the brushes. No, that's not gonna go in that hole. How many times have you heard that before? Time for a switcheroo for the smaller chicken kebab. This is the Wheel Woolly. Now the rim packers are quite stiff, a bit like me, but they do work. They do work very well. And they've got the grippy handles and you can get the grippy handles for Wheel Woolies. Don't ask, just don't ask. Got another chemical resistant brush, although it looks like a detailing factory style brush, it is in fact a Max Shine brush and it's got a rubber handle. Had that for a number of years and then we're gonna go in with a Valet Pro brush, of course the chemical resistant one. Watch the crud come out from the lug nut area. So we're not quite finished yet, apart from rinsing it. We're gonna come back to this in a minute. He's missed a bit. Yeah, that's it, just down there. Thank God he heard me. Terminator from Fiber King. Got sent a number of products down from these guys, from Jay. For that remover, now we've already cleaned the wheel, we're gonna see what we can get out from this. We're gonna leave this around about 10, 15 minutes. Slight bit of agitation, get it in the spokes, and then we're gonna to move to the rear of the vehicle and tackle the rear wheel very briefly. Thanks to the wonders of YouTube editing. So 
So there is a chemical reaction happening with the fallout remover, just so it is actually working. And the barrels are in pretty good order, to be honest with you, for the age of the vehicle. Metro bomb. So back to the APC. No pre-rinse. We're going to give this kind of a 50-50. We're going to do the front part of the vehicle, namely these big doors with it. Let it to dwell for around about 10 minutes, and then we're going to see if it softens the grime and actually removes it. Now remember, this is not a traffic film remover. It's not going to strip everything but it is going to do a better job than just a standalone snow foam. Or is it? Better watch the rest of the video. So the good old swipe test. That's not bad. And of course, down on the seal section, yeah, slightly better, or worse, if you look at it the other way around. I mean, better as in more dirt. Yeah, that's what I meant. So we're going to treat the rest of the car, lower parts, with the all-purpose cleaner. We're going to really give this a good soaking, apart from that bottom bit. Yep, I can see it right down the bottom. Yep, always miss a bit. Go over to Moosey's head with it as well. And we're going to allow this to dwell for a good 10, 15 minutes. but we're going to leave the rear quarters. So watch the product creep up the panel. So that is a satin finish, that grill. It's not actually chrome. Not that shiny, but it is grimy. Blizzard snow foam now. So 100 mil to around 800 mil of water. I've made it slightly thicker. So remember the lower parts and on the front of the car and on the rear of the car, I've got the APC. So we're just going to seal that in, but we're going to see what the snow foam can do on its own. You'll find out in a bit. These look really good when they're low, these cars. So first impressions of the snow foam, it seems to cling really well, which allows a bit more dwell time, which is great. But what's it like at cleaning? It wasn't me. So 10 to 15 minutes, just let this do its thing. So the rear of the car, we didn't actually touch this with the APC, we didn't on the rear quarter. And I wanna see what this can actually do just with snow foam. Now, of course, you've got to allow a little bit of overspray, I understand that, but we just wanna see what this can do. if he pulls his finger out and actually gets it rinsed. So quite surprising, it did a pretty good job. Which surprises me because the APC does in fact soften the dirt more and it should take it off. However, it is not a TFR. Now, standalone snow foams, in my experience, unless they're alkaline based or sugar based, 
I know you guys use Built Hamber out there, tend to be the winners and they do a fairly good job. Now the APC is going to help, it's going to help soften the grime, but however it's not a citrus free wash, but it does help and it seemed to work on the day to a degree. Now you can use this APC on interiors as well. It's a multi-purpose multi cleaner even. But is it worth the price tag? So this product is around 15 pound for the APC for one liter. And it's just too much money for me, I'm afraid to say, as a detailer, as a valetor, as a hobbyist, you know, you can buy a keg, five liters of APC spend a bit more and get five liters of it and that's my issue with it it's a decent product it works but it's just too expensive let me know what you guys think in the comments this is me being brutally honest also glim do not make bad products so this is after the pre-wash so we've got a mixture of snow foam and we've got a mixture of the apc next it's the shrek cold by the looks of it this is Fiber King shampoo, 45 mil in that. We're gonna wazz it up. It seems to produce some nice soapy suds. And we've got the new wash mitt from Auto Glim, which comes with a bag. So when you finish with it, you can put it in the bag and it won't get contaminated. What a brilliant idea. So what's this shampoo like to use? Well, decent froth levels, yeah, great, and a little bit of lubricity. It's okay, it's fairly good. It's not outstanding, it didn't blow my mind, but it seems to work. And that mitt is lovely to use. It's got enough room for my Edward shovel fingers to, to put in there, and it seems to be made of decent stuff. So we're going to get rid of this lot and then we're going to move on to the drying stage. This is where it gets interesting. This is the Fiber King Vroom Quick Detailer. So I applied several spritz on the front wing and you can see it working very, very effectively. Great as a drying aid, it will leave some protection and it will leave a bit of gloss. So basically a traditional QD. So once you've dried it, you can, of course, follow this up and buff off the excess. Any streaks left on the car, you can just buff it off. Nice stuff to use, actually. Next up, Hybrid Solutions. This is from Turtle Wax, the Pure Shine Misting Detailer. Now, I'm trying this on several parts of the car and I'm gonna put it against the QD and I'll tell you why in a bit. So it does say two sprays per panel. So that hasn't got any gas in it, it's what they call a flare assault. Bit more ozone friendly. And this is like a gloss booster with protection. So it does say flip the towel or use two separate towels. What's it like to use? Well, it's one of those products which less is more. The more you put on, the more you've got to work it. And it doesn't flash off as quick as the QD. However, it does make it shiny. And I've got to give it to Turtle Wax. It does perform very, very well in the gloss department. There is one major downside. You do this on a windy day, you will lose half that product because it is such a fine mist. Now, if you live in a better climate country, say America, and it's not windy, then brilliant. If you're in your garage, if you're in a studio, if you've got a detailing bay, then perfect, it's gonna be fine. 
But for jobs like this, you are going to start losing the product. Now, I understand why they've done it. They've done it to not use so much product, but at the same time, you're going to use more product because it's blown away. So I then went back to the traditional QD from Fiber King. And I actually found this easy to use. The gloss levels, yeah, there is difference. You can definitely tell, or well, I could on the day, I actually preferred the Turtle Wax for the gloss. However, the usability, I actually preferred the QD. Yes, this car is black. So I went back on the other wing and tried it again, and I just kept experimenting with this throughout the day, putting less on, putting more on. No, that's the bloke on the end of the cloth. And it is a little bit streaky. It's a little bit fussy. So it really is less is more. But the gloss levels are, well, you'll see at the end. So the QD is going to take off the water, any finger marks. This, however, is more about boosting that gloss. Yeah, it will take marks off, but it's more about that final shine. So after you finish, go around the car, buff off any excess water. And for this car, it just seems to be coming out from everywhere. I don't know why. Even at the end, I've got the dreaded ones that come down the uh, wing mirrors. And we move on to the tires now with Garage Therapy's Tire Serum. Now this is a serum, it's not a dressing. The idea is to protect your tires against the dirt, repels the dirt, and the next time you go to clean your car, they will come up nice and black again. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it. You could obviously put a bit more on there if you wanted to layer it, but normally one coat should suffice. And yes, we're still using the rim mats underneath. Check out the link underneath the video. Here's some before and after shots. And while you're watching this, just bear in mind the podcast. If you haven't listened to our podcast, the Spec in Paul Talk Detailing podcast, go check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep subscribing. I will keep producing videos when I can. Check out the gloss on this. Ta ra!